I feel like it was very vital for me to be a part of them, uh, mainly just because um, over the last almost 10 years, we have been going through a surge of these instances of police brutality, especially in the Black community and the uh, and other communities. And I know for sure um, this was a turning point for not only me, but for countless of other individuals. Um, and so that's why I decided to go to those, uh, to the uh, rallies because I want to not only voice my anger and my distress, but also voice my uh, opinion of how from the legislative aspect to community aspect, what we can do as a whole um, to try to alleviate this current crisis. It was very, very moving, um, very moving. The Clayton rally was, I kid you not, it was so many people. There were so many people from various different backgrounds, from various um, walks of life um, that came together as one and we just marched and we, and we chanted and everything was so peaceful. Um, and it was the same thing in Ferguson, too. Um, I, I felt that sense of togetherness. Now, I'm not going to lie. Um, there were some people that was a little more vocal. But I believe, I also strongly believe that sometimes you have to be a little extra vocal to get your word across and for others to really hear what you have to say, as well as possibly have ideas of what you could do in the future. I, so before I went down to um, Ferguson Clayton, um, I was very distressed. I kept on watching the news. I kept on contacting friends, colleagues um, that, was, you know, participating in um, a nonviolent rally. Um, I feel like, I felt like this was my moment to also um, show up and care and participate just because I felt deep down in, within inside, I felt like I can't stay here and allow especially my black brothers and sisters to do this and I'm sitting here I want to be included in this and I want to make sure that not only I share, I share my voice but I also share their voices and their stories um, and essentially just try to um, in a way, come together as one beyond social media. The tri-state community, I, I mean, I lived in Palmyra most of my life. And um, when I left Palmyra in 2012 to go to, uh, to, go to Jefferson City for uh, undergrad, um, I had this, I had a slight false sense of reality. And it wasn't until after, um, from 2014 with, Mike, with Michael Brown to other instances, it really truly helped me open up my eyes. And I also feel like the tri-state area um, could just kind of re learn from how when there is issues going on within various communities, it's not a picture saying, oh, care about this community more than the other. It's saying, we are trying to tell you that yes, all lives do matter, but for right now, black lives 
are the ones that is going through this systematic um, injustice and that we are not going to allow people to um, to keep our voices muted. We want people to know that we're not going to stand for these injustices and that until there is a solution, we're going to keep on marching. We're going to keep on chanting. We're going to keep on addressing to our lawmakers and various community members and leaders to address this because it is very imperative that in order for us to truly be united, we have to recognize that there is other instances of, um, of vices within smaller portions of our united community. Um, I know for sure a lot of people um, had a lot of questions about when, especially in Ferguson, when things kind of took a turn. And I want I want to say that the pe some the people that was doing that was not citizens of that area. It was not. I have numerous friends, numerous I can't even count. Um, they told me that um, there was numerous attempts of community members trying to alleviate that, uh, that situation. And I, I want to um, strongly um, in, in New Real Estate that um, there's some people that will take this opportunity in a negative side. And there's some people that will take this moment in a positive and you have to be aware of um, who is truly um, concerned and who is truly dedicated to this versus somebody that wants to take this chance and stir some mess just so then it can get more publicity or and not in a good way.